What a blustery Saturday here at the Oak Classic for round number two. I'm George Savarikis with World Golf Hall of Famer Lanny Watkins. Made for very challenging scoring conditions. Let's pick up the highlights. And it was Retief Goosen early on the par 3-4. Yeah, 143 yards. The wind whipping across right to left. Retief puts it out to the right, uses the wind, uses the slope in the green. Really well done. Just a quality shot. Goosen off to a blistering start. Birdie five of his first seven holes, Lanny. Speaking of the seventh, David Toms for birdie. This is a tough green to putt. It moves hard from the back right to the front left. That's where David is going, looking for it to stop. Slam, it does, right into the hole. How pretty is that? Cameron Beckman was the overnight leader after opening with a seven under 64 from off the green on the sixth. Yeah, and I like this play. When the wind's blowing this hard, keep it on the ground as much as possible. He does use his putter, finds a birdie three there for Cameron. Beckman, though, would have a long birdie drought in his second round. Ernie Els approach to the 12th. Beautiful tee shot, puts it in perfect position and a quality little bump into the green up there to about two and a half feet, and that would be a birdie for Ernie. Very next hole, more from Els. Yeah, this was maybe the most positive stroke I saw him make all day. This was gorgeous. Just hammers this in the center from about 20 feet. Beautiful putt, well read. That's when you saw that name, Els working its way up the leaderboard. Same with Lee Jansen for par on the last, but Jansen, the round of the day, a 566 landing. Yeah, for the two-time U.S. Open champion, has himself right in the mix. Ernie Els, of course, with two uh, U.S. Open titles of his own, taking advantage of the par 515. Yeah, a huge tee shot, just a short iron in here, eight or nine iron for Ernie, and he gets the hop back behind the hole. This was a wonderful play, did not hit a very good putt, so he walks off the green with a birdie four. Cameron Beckman on the very same hole after Ernie had that two-putt birdie. This was his third to the 15. Yeah, hit the wrong club. It hit hard, went over the back of the green. And just a wonderful little play from there. He would two-putt from right there and save par. Scramble mode activated. Beckman would save par on 15. He's trying to save par basically every hole on this back nine. Tough little putt here for a two-putt here at 16. Gets it to go in. This is, he kind of was steadying himself about right now. Up on the 18th, Ernie Els tied for the lead at this point, but had an eagle putt on the last. Huge tee shot, and again, just eight iron into the par five. About 40 feet here, just get the speed correct. He does, simple little tap in birdie. Els would tap that in. They have round of three under 68. Els up by one, but you see those names lurking. Retief Goosen, Cameron Beckman, Lee Jansen. We have a bunched leaderboard going into the final round of the Hope Classic.